Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Cusp Adventures. So today, I will be comparing the i10 TWS versus the i11 TWS versus the i12 TWS. If at any time you want to pick up any of these products, you can check out them in the links in the description. Although these products have been sent to me, I intend to keep this comparison as honest as possible. I will be comparing these devices in all the following areas. All right. Packaging, design, connectivity, battery, audio quality, mic quality, and features. All right, starting out with the packaging, when it comes to the dimensions of the i12 TWS box is the closest to the AirPods box. Then the i10 TWS, I would say, is the second in the closest of the size of the box. And the i11 TWS box looks nothing like the AirPods box. The whole box itself is blue and larger vertically. For the front of the box, they all look different from the AirPods, but I would say that the i10 TWS looks the most similar from the front. All right, opening all three of the boxes. We are greeted with the headphones. Taking them out, we see all the contents inside of the box. All right, for all the things I compare, I'll give them a score of a three is the best, two is the second best, one point is the worst. And at the end, I'll calculate them all to see which one gets the highest score. All right, in the packaging area, the i12 TWS are the closest to the AirPods box in the dimensions and images, so I'll give them three points this round. The i10 TWS are a very close second when it comes to packaging, so I'll give them a two and the i11s get a 1 for completely missing this area. Alright, now to the design. I will be giving two scores in this design area, a score for the case and a score for the headphones. Alright, all three of them look very similar, but the one that looks the closest to the AirPods case wise is the i12 TWS. The dimensions are exactly the same, there's a button on the back, it uses lightning port to charge, has no LEDs that show on the outside of the case. Also on the i12 TWS, the lid is very smooth and doesn't ever catch on the back of the case. The i12 TWS get 3 points for the design case area. And the i11 TWS get 2 points because they have a lightning port on the back, but unlike the i12s, their case is slightly bigger than the AirPod case and has LEDs below the plastic that can make it less appealing. And coming in last for the design of the case is the i10 TWS. They may be the exact same dimensions as the AirPods, but they use USB Type-C, they have four LEDs on the front, and the lip on the latch is wrong, and they don't have a button on the back. And for these reasons, they get one point. Now for the earbuds design area. The i10 TWS take three points in this area because they are virtually identical to the AirPods. Their dimensions are exactly the same, they have all the same sensor dots on the headphones, they charge in the exact same way, and the mesh is exactly the same. The i12 TWS get two points because they are very similar to the AirPods, but not quite as close as the i10 TWS. They are slightly shorter than the AirPods. Their mesh is a little bit different. They don't have the sensor dots. There's no mesh on the bottom of the earphones. The earphone stem is slightly thicker and it does have LEDs below the plastic. The i11 TWS come in last with one point. They're slightly taller than the AirPods. The tap area on the side is lower. The mesh looks nothing like the original and it charges with a different method. Now for connectivity. All right, so I'll be testing the Bluetooth. I'm gonna see how far I can get from the phone before the AirPods start to like glitch out or anything like that. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll be starting with the i12 TWS right here. I'll be connecting them to my phone and then I'll be walking out there and we'll see how far I get. All right, phone goes right there. Oh, yeah, all the way back to the fence. All right, well those went a lot further than I expected. But let's continue the test, all right. And no, I did not have the phone in my pocket. I made sure of that. I thought I might have messed up, but no. All right, we're going with the i11 TWS. All right, got it. All right, I'm dipping. We got the i10 TWS in my ears right here. All right, phone's going right here. i10 TWS, let's do this. All right, and now for the battery life. This area is mostly estimations because I haven't done a complete comparison on the i12 TWS battery drain test yet. Coming soon though. 
but from what I can tell, the i12s have the best battery of the bunch, coming in around three to four hours of playback time, at least from the box, and a extra 15 hours with the case. And because of that, the i12s get three points for this. Coming in second, we get the i10 TWS, and they get two points because they can last around two hours and 30 minutes and an extra 12 hours with the case. The i11 TWS coming in last for one point for having the worst battery and lasting an hour and 25 minutes and an extra 10 hours with the case. Now for the audio quality. In my opinion, I think that the i10 TWS sound the best. Now this is just in my opinion because when I had my dad and my sister try them out, they thought the i12 sounded better. So because of this, I'm giving them both twos for those reasons. The i11s come in last with one point. They don't sound quite as good as the i10s or the i12s. All right, now for the mic quality. All right, so these are the i10 TWS. This is the kind of mic quality you can expect from these. So yeah, test one, two, three. This is the mic quality you can expect from the i10 TWS. All right, this time these are the i11 TWS and this is how they sound. I'm talking to them just like I'll be talking to someone on the phone, just having my ears and talking to them, seeing how they sound. Hope they sound pretty good. Yeah. All right, so I have the i12 TWSs in my ears right now, and this is the audio quality you can expect from the microphones on board the i12 TWS. So test one, two, three. Yeah. Now for the features. All the headphones have their own touch features, but the question is, which one has the best touch features? When it comes to features, the i12 TWS, in my opinion, have the best use of them. And here's why. They use pretty much all the options when it comes to touch features, and none of them seem redundant. For example, so what I mean, for example, three taps on the right side goes to the next song, but three taps on the left side goes to the previous song. And they are also the only pair that you can turn the volume up from the touch features. And for those reasons, they get awarded three points. The i10 TWS comes in second with two points because they do have touch features that work pretty well, but some of them are seem redundant to me. For example, if you want to change the song, you can tap either side twice to do so. Some may see that as a benefit, but personally, I see it as a con. But they are the only features of the i10 TWS. They also have LEDs on the front that can come in handy when it comes to seeing the battery. And in last place, the i11 TWS get one point. They do have touch features, but they aren't quite as reliable as the rest. They do have LEDs that show when they are charging, but they are below the plastic and can be an eyesore. All right, after calculating all the results, the i12 TWS finished at 18 points. The i11 TWS finished at nine points and the i10 TWS finished at 15 points. I would say if you are gonna pick any of these headphones, you either should go for the i12 TWS or the i10 TWS. Both of them are great options, and if you'd like to pick up yourself a pair of any of those, the links are in the description. And comment down below what videos I should make in the future. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And be sure to like this video so it can reach our like goal and get the giveaway of the i12 TWS. Peace.